Storm Team 10 uses a lot of tools to give you an accurate forecast. They always have an eye to how systems are developing. Storm Team 10's Chris Piper has more. When it comes to our forecasting, we take into account something called cyclogenesis. Simply put, this is the strengthening or development of a low pressure system, which brings us storms. All storms are a form of counterclockwise motion called a cyclone. I'm going to show you how fronts factor into storm development. The first is a stationary front. This can be referred to as the calm before the storm. Neither the cold or the warm front has more effect on the other. The next is called the wave stage. In this one, the warm and cold fronts become stronger, separating from one another. Next is the open stage. This is when we start to get rotation. Warm air moves up from the south while cold air pushes in from the west, starting this counterclockwise rotation. The front after that is called an occluded front. This is when the cold front starts to take over the warm front. The majority of storm development happens at this stage. Finally, dissipation. At this point, most of the cyclone's energy has been used and the system will soon die off. So when we look at maps of the surface, we have to pay close attention to what stage a storm is in. Sometimes if there's a storm out west, depending on the stage it's in, it could fall apart even before it makes its way here. News 10, we'll be right back.